Thomas Young's double slit experiment is a rather famous experiment that he did in 1801. 1801. What Thomas Young did was he took coherent light and he passed it through a double slit. So, uh, in order to understand this, I'm going to do a demo. The demo is going to involve this item, which I've scanned and put on the screen for you. I will pass it around so that you can see what it is. It's kind of hard to see from the picture. You can see right next to my mouse click right here, we have this is two different <coughs> slits. We have another pair of two slits right here. These are slightly farther apart. These are pretty close to one another. So you're going to see this. Please pass it around. You can see that we have two slits. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take monochromatic light monochromatic light, which looks like this. You know this is monochromatic light because you see one color, monochromatic light. I'm going to take this monochromatic light and I'm going to pass it through the double slit. Now, right now what you see is a single dot because that's what the laser creates, a single dot of light. Now, when I pass it through, the double slit, something interesting happens. I do understand it's a little bit difficult to see. I have a picture of it and I'll talk about it in just a minute, but I want to talk about what's happening. So note, again, we started with a single dot, right? And now I've taken that light and I've passed it through two slits. And instead of having, say, two dots on the wall, which you might expect, what we get is this pattern of alternating dark and light, dark and light. This is a picture I took of that demo. So what you're going to see here is alternating dark and bright spots. We need to talk about why this happens. So again, what I took was monochromatic light so we don't have to deal with different wavelengths of light bending at different um, or diffracting at different angles. And we created what is called an interference pattern. All right, so this is an interference pattern. And in order to understand what on earth this is, I actually have a little set of demonstration slides. But I've struggled over the years as to how to figure out how to show this to you. And I think I came across it last year. I created something which will help you to understand what's going on here. So what I have here is a single light source, or at least a demonstration of a single light source. And all the waves, you can see this would be one of the two slits. All the light is coming through the one of the two slits, and it's diffracted. As we just talked about, sound was diffracted through that doorway. Well, now light is diffracted through that slit because that slit is very tiny and is there therefore close to the wavelength of the light. So this would uh, illustrate one of the two slits. Then we have the second of the two slits is going to be right here. And what you need to see is what happens when the two slits get close to one another and what happens with the interference pattern between the two uh, sets of waves. So what I did is I set them up and I created a stop motion video for you. Took a bunch of pictures, and I created a stop motion video. It looks like this. Now the key here is that that happens way too quickly. You can't understand what's going on. So we need to go slow. So we go frame by frame. What I'm doing here is I'm basically taking so that the two slits are far apart and bringing the two slits closer and closer together. Right now it just looks like mayhem. There's no real like pattern at all. But as they get closer and closer together, you can see that a pattern actually starts to develop. And maybe I'll stop. That looks like a good spot to stop. What you can see here is we have alternating light and dark, light and dark. And what this is, is what you see here is constructive interference where these wavelengths overlap and destructive interference where the wavelengths are a phase shifted by half a wavelength. So constructive interference, destructive interference, constructive, destructive, constructive interference, right? That's what, ha what is happening to the light as it goes from the double slit to the wall. But we don't see that light until it runs into the wall, is then reflected off the wall, and we see it in our eyeballs. So we don't see the light until it hits the wall. So this plane 
of the a video right here actually shows the wall. On the wall, you would see constructive interference, or what kind of light? Class. Constructive interference. Bright light. Then destructive interference. No light. Constructive. Destructive. Right? So it alternates back and forth, just like the picture I showed you, where we have constructive interference in the middle, destructive, constructive, destructive, constructive, destructive, constructive, destructive, constructive, so on and so forth. You can see we have alternating constructive and destructive uh, spots where the light is interfering with itself and therefore creating this pattern. And what Thomas Young proved in 1801 is that light is a wave. So we proved light is a wave because if light were not a wave, instead of seeing the interference pattern that we see, we would just see two dots from the light passing through the two spots here.